Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator Val, good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere, but little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still catch him. Stop! LAPD! See. We've got an idea on you, Firebug. Stop right there! What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito collar. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. They're house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it?
Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Here they are, Stephens. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes? Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... You're lying, Cunningham. There's some kind of racket going on here, and you're in on it. And you have a screw loose, Buster. I'm involved in a conspiracy for a $20 family ticket to Catalina? How are you going to prove that? Looks like I made a mistake. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the half. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike, Griffin.
This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Sorry! My partner isn't the greatest driver in the world. We came as soon as we could. Lynch. Biggs? You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire... I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. 
I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. When is America going to understand? It's not about getting, it's about giving. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with.
straighten that heel set and flying. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? I know that face. That's the guy that busted all those Negro drug pitchers last week. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. What the hell? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. I think you're lying, Razik. Either these heaters are flawed in inception or they were badly put together. Which is it? If you want to pursue that line of questioning, we could have our day in court. I'll put my engineering credentials up against yours. You're off the hook for now. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Looks like I was mistaken. You employ accredited mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're gas fitters. Installers, then. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. OK, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. Lousy piece of shit.
This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. I could save all year and not be able to afford that. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. So walking down the street, one was assaulted. Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all?
company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. You have a real viper's nest that insta heat, don't you? Arsonists, murderers, and well, communists. What's that got to do with me? You can't prove I'm behind all that. Look, I've been cooperative. How about letting me get back to work? You were licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? You like fires, don't you, Clemens? You serve as the house on Kenmore Avenue. You manipulated the regulator valve. I don't remember even working a job on Kenmore Avenue, much less sabotaging the place. What proof have you got? I do a day's work for a day's wage. That's what I do. You got a problem with that? 
Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. Clemens, for someone with your record, I would expect a little more cooperation. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. Get in close and steer him off the tar. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Brian down before he hurts somebody. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. He's got an arson-related assault charge, and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. Show me your hands. Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. 
I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. It would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. KGPL to any central unit. Meet the officer. A hit run felony at 6th and Alvarado. Any unit able to handle? Code 2 identified. Car 11 King responding. Go ahead, KGPL. 11 King, meet the officer at hit run felony at the intersection of 6th and Alvarado. Code 2. Jesus Christ. Notify the coroner's office. It's not often you get them this easy. The driver left his car behind and hoofed it. Any witnesses? None of them saw the crash, but by the blood, I'd say the driver can't be too far. Did anyone see where the driver went? I saw a guy run up that alley. Just stay away from me, goddammit! I mean it! Partner! Oh. I think we got our guy. Give it to him, Phelps! He's the cop. I only fell asleep for a second. 
I've never had any trouble like this before, officer. Never, William ever. William Shelton? Oh, Christ. It's you. Look, you gotta believe me. I'm no criminal. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! or I will shoot. Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley the Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then. You're a guest of the city. Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take them away, officer.
I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Looks like you're the one who needs advice on how to do his job. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Tell me the truth, Ryan. It's the only chance you've got. You're getting some kind of kickback from the fund. So I'm an agitator for change, but I take kickbacks. How does that make any sense? You don't ask, you never find out. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. That bum took a swing. I think Ryan is our man. The procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley.
Parker or Green? We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? You're saying I'm some kind of psycho for hire? It's not true. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Guy gave his wife... They weren't even his print. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was un-American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. <laughs> 